Now on this Thursday morning, if uh, some time at home has inspired you, those creative juices are flowing, we've got a fun project for you to check out. Salvage designer, DIY expert, photo stylist, garage sale guru, Shannon Quimby is here this morning. <laughs> Did you like that intro? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was awesome. Yay! Well, you're here with a fun and functional kitchen project that uh, everybody can take on this weekend. So what are we making today? I can't make it with you this time, but I'm, I'm going to watch and admire your skill from afar. Well, this is kind of, I've been, it was inspired by my Grandpa Buzz. So this project is like ode to Grandpa. Aww. So I know, I know. So I grew up, he, oh, we always had a workshop. My grandpa always had a workshop. And he used to have these... Um, uh, baby food jars, and it would store all his little nuts and bolts in in his shop. So I kind of took that same idea and I put it into my kitchen. That's awesome, and I like the way that you've kind of like set this up. Is it's not going to take up all your counter space. It's genius. Exactly. So um, and it's all about. Okay. Okay. I so. can't tell if I'm having some issues with my IFB or if we're having troubles hearing you. Uh, we might need to take our music out, guys, if it's uh, if it's getting yeah. in the way there of, of Shannon's instructions. Go ahead, Shannon. Okay. We good? I think so. We'll follow okay. along. <laughs> hey, this is all about DIY, right? We just yeah. gotta go with the flow. That's what we do, right? So, mason jar with the lid. Okay, got to have a lid. That's important. You take the lid off, and if you have one of these, I'm going to put it up here so you can see it. This is called an owl. If you don't have one of these, you can just use a nail and a hammer. So you get a block. You put the lid upside down, and what you do is you take your hammer, and you're going to make a hole on the top of the lid. Okay. Easy, okay. easy, easy, okay? Yes, so you've got me next, so far. Yeah, right? So the next thing you're going to do is you're going to do a, get a screw. Now, listen, I've been there, done this, don't do it, okay? Now, I'm going to open this up to give you a visual. Mm -hmm. I actually, I, I straightened this for you guys. Oh, very nice. <laughs> yeah. So make sure that your screw is not longer than the depth that you're going to screw it into. Mm -hmm. Oh, gotcha. Otherwise, you're screwing it up into your, your dishes and pl plates there. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, I, I did that. Um, <laughs> Speaking so of experience. I'm, yeah, right? So they mount these underneath. So they're going underneath the counter, mm -hmm. which once again, we're taking it off the counter and creating fun storage. So you're going to take this screw and with the drill, I'm just going to give you a visual because I'm going to disappear. It's going to disappear. And you're going to screw the lid underneath. Right. Okay. The top of the cabinet. Got it? Yeah. I'll even get so big right here. There so. you go. So then the yeah. top is always going to stay screwed into the bottom of the cabinet, and then it's the actual glass jar that you're unscrewing and taking out. See? Okay. Like that. Oh, there you oh, go. There. So the fun thing what I love about this is that, so my son's a big snacker. So I'll put almonds, I'll put, um, I got craisins back here in the corner. There you so go. It's, yeah, right? So it's easy to get to. It's visual, so you don't forget what you got in the cupboard. Mm -hmm. It's off the counter, right? We're talking about good storage. Um, and it's fun, and it's functional, and it was something I had lying around the house. That is so great. Yeah, and I think it's it's perfect too if you're like a baker, you want to keep track of all your spices, different things like that. I've got pasta visual. in here. I know. Yeah. yeah. We've got I got brown sugar. Now, if you don't have mason jars, this you could do it with like your jelly jars. There you go. Um, yeah. I've done it with um uh, peanut butter jars. And this you can take this out of the kitchen too. You know, my son has a cabinet um in his um in his bedroom. And he's mounted those above his cabinet in his bedroom. Oh, perfect. And so, yeah, or like I know. little office supplies. You could do it in like a pantry and stuff too. Oh my gosh, so yeah. many good ideas with this. Shannon, thank you so much. We've got the instructions to make your own storage mason jars. 
on coin.com. You can do it this weekend and then send us your photos. I love the idea. All right, thanks, Shannon. Have a good one.